Hi everyone, my name is Jillian Arani and I am a fisheries biologist with the Confederacy Mainland Mi'kmaq under the Department of Aquatic Resources and Fisheries Management, which houses the Mi'kmaq Conservation Group. Before getting into the details about our chain pickerel cookbook, I first wanted to acknowledge that I am recording this in Mi'kma'ki, which is the ancestral, unceded, and unsurrendered territory of the Mi'kmaq people. So the Chain Pickerel Cookbook is a new outreach and education item that MCG has created as a resource to show people how to use Chain Pickerel. As we know that Chain Pickerel are prevalent in Nova Scotia, we thought it would be a great resource for people to have to show them how to use these fish. So the cookbook contains a lot of information, including some background on the CMM and MCG. It talks about Chain Pickerel Mi'kma'ki and the problem we're having talks about mercury levels in chain pickerel. It further shows people different ways they can get involved in chain pickerel research and how to report fish. It gives an overview of how to prepare chain pickerel to remove the bones. And then we get into the recipes, which are 10 different recipes. And each recipe came from someone. So we have a little bio on each person that contributed a recipe and a picture as well. So there's a whole variety of recipes available. We have some chain pickerel fish cakes. There's sweet and sour Cantonese style chain pickerel. We have chain pickerel au gratin. We've got some simple recipes. We have ones that are a little more complicated. Uh, this invasive fish chowder actually contains chain pickerel and smallmouth bass. Uh, and each recipe that is in the cookbook is hopefully a way to encourage more people to go out and catch these fish and use them as a resource. Um, they're here in Nova Scotia and they're here in abundance. So we figured where the catch limit per person per day is 100 fish. If people have a resource like this uh, to use, that will hopefully encourage them to go out and catch some fish. And the cookbook can be found on the MCG website as well as the Facebook page.